So I had somebody asking about OpenBTS and DragonOS Focal, and while I haven't uh, been able to get it to install, it just I don't think is really meant for 20.04 uh, or newer Ubuntu. It's primarily 16.04. There, I think there's a build out there for 18.04, but it's pretty old. But uh, what caught my attention is uh, being able to um, look at the SMS messages and log files and do some other things that I found. Uh, or, well, actually, the individual shared with me this page here, um, traffic interception um, penetration testing. Uh, it's got some pretty cool uh, information here on OpenBTS and how to come through here and grab stuff with Wireshark, how to um, do the test on voice calls, SMS. And um, I do have one challenge is the fact that uh, what I'm about to show, you need a Lime SDR, not a Mini, uh, just a regular Lime SDR. And I think a B210, B200. I just happen to be unlucky and have a 205, which doesn't work. So uh, while we can't, or I can't at least get it installed natively uh, in Dragon OS, uh, what I found though is uh, Docker uh, comes comes in handy here, and I'll put all these links in the description. Uh, so this is a fresh uh, Dragon OS Focal R7. Install a couple things here. Essentially, we're going to install Docker. Got it on the x86 64 bit. should get us what we need and when that's finished installing I'm going to jump over here so somebody uh, two years ago or so had made a docker image for uh, OpenBTS and so we'll copy the docker pull command We've got a connection now to the Docker. All right, and you're probably going to need sudo. So we'll pull in the Docker for OpenBTS. All right, should be about done. We're done. Come down here. And the way this page is formatted, it's a little hard to understand uh, what's going on. But um, we want to run the Docker. Let's see where I'm taking the copy and pasting from and going to. We'll put sudo. This will run the Docker and it should open this up in Bash. We'll attached to the OpenBTS docker with sudo hit enter alright we're in the docker and just to show I'm, I'm not going to be able to do everything uh, here because again I've only got a Lime SDR mini but uh, so just to show we're in the docker I'll come down through here as if I'm going to set this all up. Well, it would help if the USB extension cable was plugged all the way in. All right, let's try this again. We're back in the Docker. So you can see it can claim, has no, inter, uh, no problem interacting with the USB device. We'll open up a screen.
start asterisk, control A, control D, detach from the screen, we'll open up another screen. after each time you're doing it and you can do jobs see both is running we'll do a control a control D from that and this is about as far as I'm going to be able to go we'll open up uh, for the TR for transceiver Now, if you add a regular line, we should be good, but uh, I have a line SDR mini, so it's going to fail. Yep, okay. So, for those that have a line SDR, you should be able to continue on. Um, you'd want to open a screen dash S, BTA. Well, here we'll just control A, control D. Just to show, we'll start it up. All right, so that's about as far as I can get. Once I get a Lime SDR or a different uh, B2 or different Edis radio, then I should be able to continue on. Uh, just note that if you do make it this far and you do continue on, you're going to have to add your phone SIM. Uh, but these directions are questionable. This uh, definitely, I don't think, is the right uh, format here for adding an MZ. So I have to dig into that a little more. Uh, but this uh, will at least accomplish what somebody was asking about getting OpenBTS in Dragon OS. And like I said, the end goal is to be able to run and do some of what is described in here. All right. Thanks.